bug in here? I thought I heard a bug. Um, oh my gosh. There's a bug in here. I can't even find out where it is. Oh gosh. I do not like bugs. You should like hear this little fit sound every once in a while, like a buzzing sound. You're like, where is it coming from? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so my name, um, if you're new here, is Michaela. I do a lot of fashion videos, kind of like um, travel. I'm gonna do more travel and I can travel more um, sometime in the future whatever that is, um, and I also do, like, a few other, like, I guess, health awareness and life videos and stuff like that, um, so today I'm going to be doing a video on back to school. I am in college. If you don't already know, I think I've mentioned that before. I, um, am going into my senior year of college, and I graduate, I'm graduating a lot earlier than, like, most people do, um, actually finishing in two and a half years, which is not because I didn't have any credits going in, I just sort of like, um, took a ton of credits every semester, I took over 18 credits almost every semester, and I'll be taking, and I took summer classes and stuff like that, and I have one CLEP exam that I took, but <clears throat> anyhow, I'm graduating in December as of now, unless something changes, and I end up spreading it out over like the year. And so I'm really excited for that, but I did need a lot of stuff for the fall because I am taking a lot of classes and it's going to be really a lot, honestly, to do, um, get my last final classes, some like really difficult 300 level, and I don't think I have any 400 level classes, but some kind of difficult classes I got to get in in my final semester. So I hope it all goes well, but this has been a very long intro, uh, anyhow, uh, let's just get started with showing what I got for my back to school haul. So the first thing I got is notebooks, of course. I need like a bunch of notebooks for my like seven classes that I'm taking. I only got uh, five notebooks. I got one for like my Japanese class, one for my um, math class. I'm taking math, unfortunately. One for my um, history history. I'm taking a history course. I need to get in for my history minor. Uh, it's my last course I need. And then I'm taking English, my English course. Um, I know I'm going to be taking, reading like four books at least and having a bunch of different assignments. So I really needed um, a notebook for that class. And then my last notebook is going to be going for, I'm taking an honors course on astronomy it's, um, I think, about life in the universe or something. Um, they, they only offer one honors course a semester, and you have to have two of these specific honors courses. So um, I needed to get this in. Unfortunately, they're all 8 o'clock in the morning. That's fun. <laughs> at least this semester, I have uh, four days a week of being on campus at 8 or 8.30 in the morning, so I'm not pumped about that. I do not get up early very easily. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle. But, um, the next thing I got is, um, like, different color pens. I much, I, I, like, prefer color pens over black. I feel like it's easier to, like, use. It has a couple of, I think it has a black pen in it, actually, also, a couple of them. It also has some colored ones, just ones, which is really helpful. I always love using colored pens. I feel like they're so much easier to see, and, you know, you can kind of color code things a little bit. Um, it's not as easy to color code as with, like, highlighters, which I think I might need to get. I just forgot. Um, but it does help. The next thing I got is some mechanical pencils. Yes, it's, like, been a while for me since I used pencils, period. I mean, I haven't used pencils since, like, 2011, when you could, like, not ha when you didn't have to use them anymore in middle school and they were like it's fine <laughs> if you use pens for everything as long as you don't mind you know if you can't erase stuff and I was like I don't care I don't want to use pencils anymore but um I thought this would be good for like more finer detailed things that I need to do um and also like for my personal use for like drawing and stuff like that I thought it would be easier than using like regular pencils and I'd be able to I wouldn't have to sharpen them so much speaking of pencils I got um 
a pencil sharpener, which I need for some, um, I got it for some color pencils that I need for a class that I'm taking this summer and I'll be able to use it for like, that I'm taking like right now. So I just got this and I'll be using this in the fall. Um, now on to some more fun stuff. I got a planner. I'm not used to planning things out. I need to more. I really need to. Um, I love the color. It's super cute. It's got like these um, gold uh, and oh, it has little like green things above it. Are these pineapples? Oh my gosh, th these are pineapples. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I love this even more. <laughs> Dude, this is so much more fun. Oh gosh, this is great. Anyhow, it's um, just a regular like it planner. It's pretty easy because it's so big. Um, I really like that. I like I don't like those planners that are really super super small and you have to like try and fit everything in it. I just want like a basic daily planner that has everything in it and still is not like too hard to see. Um, I am legally blind. And so I do need have trouble. Like I don't take a ton of notes, honestly, um, because I can't see my notes. And I could have like a note taker, but I don't because then I just have to try and read the notes again, and that would take a long time. So I really just try to like memorize everything in class, and I've always had like a pretty good memory. So I never really had to take notes a lot, which is helpful. Um, I feel like I would have struggle a lot more in school if I didn't have the memory that I do as far as like trying as remembering what like I have to do in class and um, what the professor has said and stuff like that. So I feel like that helps me a lot because um, if you don't have that like memory, then um, it, you have to like of course take notes and try and go over those notes, and I'd have to like scan bug in here. I heard a bug. Um, oh my gosh. There's a bug in here. I can't even find out where it is. Oh gosh. I do not like bugs. You should like hear this little fit sound every once in a while, like a buzzing sound. You're like, where is it coming from? I need to finish this up so I can go find that. Um, and uh, I have to like have a note taker, take those notes, like scan them into something, and then enlarge it on that, and then go through it all. And I feel like it would be a lot of work. It'd be really difficult. I mean, if it was taken on paper, I'd have to like I scan it in my computer, and then I'd have to have it be read to me come through like some kind of reading software and honestly I'm just trying to memorize everything is just a lot easier for me and then I have um, the last thing that I have is a wait no it's not the last thing I have something else I totally forgot about I will get in a second but one of the last things that I got is these super cute folders yes I'm in college and yes this is pink glitter I don't care <laughs> I really don't care I just I saw it, I was like, yes, I'm getting that. I don't care if I'm in college and, you know, everybody else is wanting to, like, wear more, like, have more, like, adulty looking things, I guess. Um, I think it, pink, I think glitter could be for anyone. I don't really, I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. And the second one is, um, I was backwards. The second one is this one. I really liked it because it was still super cute, um, but it's, like, um, more subdued and um, I'll probably I only got two folders because I'm not gonna like do it for every class I have a lot of stuff that's like online as far as my assignments and stuff I don't need a ton of paper I don't think I will I might need some for math um, but then I you know constantly will go through my things that I don't need the papers I don't need and I don't really I just don't want to have I just didn't really want to get one for every single class I only have one more semester so I was just like I'm not going to use them all year I should just get a couple and then I can kind of put everything in it but still organize it well enough um, so anyhow I liked it that um, it had this like rose gold stuff here and it had the like the watercolory looking type thing you style promise I think they some of their profits I read I had the other the outer section of this read to me early like a while ago and it says something about how like the profits from this go to 
on like helping the environment or something like that. So that is great if you buy something with one of these stamps, it's like helps the environment. I can't remember if it's like the profits or if a certain amount goes to like they match it or something. I can't really see what it says there. So if you see one of these, you can just like read it yourself. Let me see. Don't know if you can see that, but it's one of these little like things here. Um, and yeah, those are the main things I got. Um, I have one more thing to show you, which I need to go get now. The last thing that I got is this uh, MacBook Pro. So I needed a new computer. Uh, my old computer that I got is um, like a PC and not only does it have a lot of difficulties, not really easy for me to see like the laptop because of my vision. Um, it like is, it was not compatible at all with my camera. Um, and so it would take, it would like only upload some things it wouldn't upload other things I had to like find them somewhere and it didn't always work out and I was trying to like use my camera I'm like I have this camera I really want to use it and like videos wouldn't come on to it like you know for YouTube I tried and tried and tried like two months nothing was working and I really really just needed to get a new computer it just like it wasn't working with a lot of stuff and for what I needed, it wasn't going to be useful like in the future, um, so I really had to break down and get a new computer. I didn't really want to spend the money, but I did because it just like I really needed to get one. And this one I can see a lot better too. I actually didn't really use my uh, other laptop. Um, I got it like as a part of a scholarship with my school, um, and so I didn't like pick it out or anything. And um, it like it just wasn't something I've really been able to use and see so like my mom mostly used it and um, so it's good now because she can have like a laptop that she can have and use and for whatever she wants and then I have a laptop that I can actually see a lot better and I heard that they're getting some software out from like Mac on all their devices soon where it'll be a lot more accessible for people who are visually impaired and one of the things that makes it more accessible for me is the um the touch bar and the like the thumbprint um like thing that turns it on because I always had trouble like having to type in my um my password and always like I would try to do it and it would just stress me out because I'd like mess it up like five times and now I can just you know get it on in one try which is great and then the touch bar is great because like a lot of times with the volume and other things like that you know you have to you just have to go into like settings or you had to like try and find the thing, well the volume you could do um, without settings, but some of the other stuff you couldn't do unless you went to settings, like brightness. And that was hard for me. And now with this, I can just, you know, hit the lighted button, which is much easier for me to see, and just use the touch screen and do that and it takes so much less time. It's great because now I don't have to try and see where my mouse is and try to go to the search bar. And you know, for me typing, sometimes I mess up and like letters and stuff and I can't really see it, what I did wrong, but you know, on Google that's fine because a lot of times it'll like correct it or find something close and you can just hit that, um, the correction and you can, and it'll search for the right thing. On a, my bigger computer that I've had since I, st around the time, a little soon after um, I started losing my vision, it um, is a touch screen like big screen and I can enlarge it. The problem with that computer is you can't use, there's like glitch in that, um, that version. And so all the versions of that, it's like a Windows 10. It, um, it like won't do audio and touch screen at the same time. Like it can't read for you and do touch screen because of like a glitch in the system, I guess. Um, and so that's difficult for me because you know, I need the touch screen. I can't just use audio. I have to have the touch screen. But the audio would have made it a lot more helpful. So, um, I'm just really glad that I have a computer now that's more accessible for me. And hopefully they get out that software, software that'll really help um, me and other people who are visually impaired, like, navigate. It's so much easier. I can't tell you how hard it is sometimes to enlarge stuff um, on the internet because not every website will enlarge the same. And then if you have a reader, it can be really difficult because um, you have to like either read every single thing on the entire page if you start at the very top 
or if you try to like find some place then it can be really difficult and when i say everything i mean like every little detail of everything it'll read like the whole page and sometimes it's easy to get lost and stuff and um it's just i mean if you had like say zoom text on your computer it would probably it could read like start button stuff like that and it'd be it'd read like all the things on your computer and if you're not fully blind you don't necessarily need that so sometimes it's hard is more useful for people who are legally fully blind i mean um because it like does everything and it can be a little confusing i'm sure it's confusing for people who are fully blind too sometimes but um it's just not as much as i need and so it's a little too much but then some things like laptops a lot of times not always enough of like visual help so anyhow i went on a very long tangent there but these are like my back to school um items i hope this video wasn't too long or too um running off on a tangent i i uh, just thought i would upload this to like show a little bit of what i need and darn it i just realized i need a calculator that i can actually see um for math that is one thing that if you're wondering because i'm taking math and i probably need that um, I'm probably just going to have to, I emailed, um, the accessibility department and they're going to get back to me, I think, soon, hopefully, hopefully soon, um, about getting something that I can actually see as far as calculators. If you do need a bit, like, an enlarged calculator, your accessibility department might have one, um, at your school. Like, the, I know there are ones that read, um, the numbers to you, which is one hopefully I'll get because when it's, like, you know, decimals and stuff like that, it just... Is hard for me to see. Hopefully I have one that reads it so I don't miss anything and mess up on any assignments unnecessarily. Um, anyhow, <laughs> that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to find out when I have new videos coming out. Um, I really hope that um, you like this. If you have any suggestions for future videos or you just want to say something about this video or whatever, um, leave some comments down in the comment section below i will leave the computer in the description box down below and um i might leave a link to some of the other stuff although you know you can just find it like staples walmart that's where i got this stuff so um i may not need to do that um so yeah i think that's it um i will see you next week